Hey everybody, it's Dumb Waldo from VaporsForum.com, also known as that guy with the lampshade on his head. So today I'm going to review the DSC 601 E-Pipe for you. The 601 E-Pipe is a Chinese-made PV, and with all the mods that I own nowadays, this is the only 3.7 volt device that makes it into my mouth anymore. The battery goes up in the top over here, and this is my first complaint about it. The jewel cover has no hole, it has no tabs, it has nothing to grab a hold of it. So when you put it on there, if it gets a little snug, it can be really difficult to get it off. Uh, you can't always just use your fingertips and twist it when it's really snug. So what I'd like to do is I'll just put the butt of my hand into it and squeeze it together real tight and give it that first twist that way. After that, it twists pretty easy with a fingertip. The cap is pretty sturdy. It's a brass ring with a little plastic jewel cap in the center of it. Uh, I've dropped it quite a few times. No chips, no scratches. It holds up pretty well, I have to admit that. The battery that goes in here is an 18350, 18350 rechargeable battery. Uh, it drops right inside the bowl, and then once it drops in, there's a little metal tab there that has to flip down on top of the battery. It is a little bit awkward and uncomfortable to put the battery in because you have to hold the battery down with one finger and then get another finger in there to flip that little metal tab over. It does let you know when you've done that successfully because the LED will give a quick blink once the tab makes contact with the positive terminal on the battery. Uh, once the battery is in, you can go ahead and replace the jewel cap. Not everybody likes to put this back on because it is such a hassle to use it but I like the whole effect so I keep it on there. The cartridges are tremendous. This is your e-pipe cartridge. Just give you an idea so you see it next to the pipe you can see how big it is. This thing is a monster. This holds tons and tons of juice. It has a little tab on the back end of it. Just a little tiny uh, thing that sticks up. And that's so that you can grab it. Because the pipe comes apart right in the center. Now there's no screw thread or anything, it's just a pressure fitting, it just squeezes on there. That's all that there is to it. The cartridge also has no specific way of designated going in, it just drops in there. I'm not putting the cartridge in because I don't use cartridges with my pipe. I still drip even with my 601 pipe. I've been told by a lot of people that that's not such a great idea, but this is how I enjoy the pipe, this is how I'm going to use it and so far mine has held up for a couple of months using it this way. A lot of people tell me that their pipes don't hold up so well so please use that tip at your own discretion and if your pipe dies it isn't my fault. So uh, I used to put a drop all the way down in there and make sure I got it on the center of the atomizer but I really don't think that matters. So I just take a couple of drips of liquid one two three drop them right in there boom. The mouthpiece that's just pressure fitted stays on there incredibly well. This is still the original mouthpiece that I got with the pipe that I started using the first time I used the pipe. It comes with a second mouthpiece, haven't had any need to touch it because this one still holds on nice and snug and works great. So let's see how it vapes. Now you might have noticed I didn't just take the pipe, put it to my mouth, and puff on it. I did a couple of primer puffs first, because this device really, really benefits greatly from those primer puffs. A lot of devices out there, the primer puffs don't matter. You can pick it up, put it right in your mouth, and vape off it on the very first puff. But the 601 does seem to like to be warmed up a little bit. It does have a tremendous atomizer down inside there, so I guess that's what causes it to need to be warmed up a little bit. So when I take it, I usually take two primer puffs and then take my finished puff. Now the vapor production is really nothing to write home about, but I have to tell you the throat hit on this device is really remarkably good for a device that's only running 3.7 volts. I've been very, very pleased with my uh, 601 pipe, and I would really recommend this to anybody as a nice sit back and relax kind of PV. It's not something that I take out with me and I go walk around with, but when I'm sitting at my desk, I really enjoy vaping on this, and it does give a good throat hit, and the flavors just come through insanely well. 
I'm not a big flavor guy. I usually vape unflavored liquid, but with this, I really like to put something with flavor in it because it just pops so well. It's so enjoyable. Well, that's it. That's what I have to say for the DSC 601, and uh, I hope you liked it. And remember, vaporsforum.com. Vape on.